Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, please click like, subscribe, and share. And welcome back. Uh, one of my viewer recently asked me. She's told me that she bought a stainless steel wok, and she want to uh, have a way to demonstrate that she is seasoning the wok properly. And so I came up with this wok exercise for those who are using the stainless steel wok for the first time. As seeing is believing, so the best way for her to feel confident that her walk is well seasoned uh, is to try something that will demonstrate that. Uh, this exercise is very simple and it takes only about a few minutes. Uh, I had this stainless steel walk for almost three years. It's a Cucina 14 inch stainless steel walk. I use this walk every day. Uh, at the end of this video, I'm going also going to show you how to clean it and to maintain it. I'm going to use six eggs to cook this dish. Uh, the reason is that actually I'm cooking this for my wife and my son for breakfast. I'm going to season the egg very lightly with my basic seasoning mix, uh, which is a uh, assortment coming from my masala daba. Uh, this just make it easier. Uh, this seasoning mix is to enhance the umami flavor of the egg and has very little salt. Uh, I found some scallions uh, in the refrigerator of my advanced prepping. Uh, they are close to the end of their shell life. I better use them up. I first heat up the wok for about one minute. Uh, and then I add cooking oil using my squeeze bottle uh, to make sure that I have enough to cover the bottom of the wok. Uh, here I'm going to use my spot seasoning method uh, to season the wok. Uh, you can take a look at this video for more details. The basic idea is simple, is that you heat up the oil until it starts to smoke gently, and then you turn down the heat. Uh, at this point, you let the oil to smoke for about 15 seconds. Uh, this is the time when the wok is being seasoned. Now, uh, if you want the wok seasoned better, then you let it smoke a little bit longer. And next, I'm going to add the egg to the wok. As you can see, as soon as the egg hits the wok, it starts to bubble almost immediately. At this time, I will shut off the heat of the stove. And this will prevent the egg from getting burned. At this point, I use the wok spatula to push the cooked egg from the outside into the inside, and the other eggs will through gravity will fill the space. And this will accelerate the cooking of the egg. And next, I add the scallion to the egg. Uh, this method for cooking the egg is a cross between scramble and egg omelette. As you can see, I fold the egg over the scallion. Uh, this creates a type of egg known as Fuyang egg. Uh, you gently fold the egg over the ingredients. Uh, by folding the egg over the ingredient gently, uh, you will find the kind of texture that you would normally uh, see in an egg omelette. If you want the egg more like a scramble, then you fold it more. You will find this dish very fast to cook, and it usually takes only about one to two minutes. Cooking this dish is an excellent demonstration that your wok is properly seasoned with non-stick property. As you would imagine, if your wok do not have good non-stick surface, the egg will stick to the surface of the wok, and it will not be successful in cooking this. Uh, through this uh, demonstration, uh, you will gain a sense of confidence that in the future, when you spot season the wok, you know you will prepare a non-stick surface for the wok. Through this exercise, you will get a sense that your stainless steel wok can perform extremely well. Uh, this makes cleaning the wok very easy. Uh, all you have to do is uh, bring it to the sink. I use my Pomara wok brush, and I can clean the wok actually in a matter of uh, seconds. However, when I look at the wok closely, uh, I discover that there are rings of uh, oil that stain the surface of the wok. Uh, I was unable to use my wok brush to remove this oil stain. Uh, and then I switch to a, a 3 amp scotch bright uh, scrub sponge. Uh, with some gentle scrubbing, uh, I was able to remove the oil stain readily. Uh, this oil stain um, do not happen regularly, so most of the time the wok brush is enough for me to clean the wok. Uh, however, you know, uh, if there is something difficult for you to clean and the wok brush is not able to do the job, uh, you can always rely on the uh, scrub sponge. 
Uh, I never use a dishwashing detergent to clean the wall. It is unnecessary. Uh, most of the time, using this method, I'm able to clean my wall very clean. Uh, since it is a stainless steel wall, I never have to worry about that it's being rusted. Uh, using this cleaning method, uh, the wall will not retain that uh, mirror finish as when you first purchase the wall. Uh, instead, using this method of cleaning, uh, the wok will gain a appearance, look like a brush stainless steel. Uh, this is the type of look you will find in many stainless steel appliances nowadays. I do not mind this uh, brush appearance at all. In fact, I prefer it. Uh, furthermore, uh, if you do want to keep it uh, with that mirror finish, you will have to polish your wok each time after you use it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please click like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.